and I think we're going to have a great boom in the in the market uh, in Marbella, but also in the Costa del Sol. But I think it's going to take a bit longer for the rest of the coast to, to go there. Uh, in Marbella, there is still high demand. Uh, I don't think that's strange because the financial politics of the world now, it's been back since the financial crisis of 08 when Lehman Brothers went bankrupt and all that followed. The, the financial politics of the world has been to, to more or less just pump in liquidity to the market. They have uh, been uh, you know, creating money out of thin air for many, many years now. And the, the European Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, and more or less all of the other central banks have been putting money straight into the system. They did it to, to recover the markets after the crash in 08 and 09. Uh, and they did it more or less successfully. If you look at what's been going on in the stock market, we had an incredible bull run, more or less, uh, since the recovery. And uh, when the pandemic hit, there was no way for them to turn back. I mean, interest rates, they were already at more or less zero. And uh, to, to, to tackle the pandemic, they had to just keep on doing what they've been doing, but they had to accelerate that activity. So they are pumping in, I mean, ridiculous amount of money in the, in the system, in the markets now. And you can see from the, from the stock market just this year, I mean, we had a big dip back in March, April, but the recovery since then, it's been ridiculous. And if you talk to the, the ordinary people on the street, the stock prices doesn't reflect their life and their view of, of how things are going at this moment. And uh, that is sad because uh, it means the segregation today is much, much bigger than it was a year ago. The, the, the people that had money already, you know, back in 2019, they are wealthier today than they were before the pandemic. While the, the people that had tighter economic circumstances, they, they are in a worse position than they were. So the, the gap is getting more wider and wider. And that is obviously uh, good for the market in Marbella because the, the buyer of a, of a villa for 2 million or 3 million euros in Marbella, he had a lot of money before the crisis and most likely he have more or she uh, more money today. Why? Because the, the, the liquidity that the central banks are pumping into the system, uh, it's going more, mostly into the stock market. Uh, I mean, the Federal Reserve uh, they, and the central banks, they are, they are buying assets directly as well. So they don't even, they don't let the market go down. As soon as you see a dip in the market now, they are there. Today, we have a, a small dip in the market, actually. Uh, and yesterday, it was a bit volatile and we had a one and a half percent drop in the S&P 500 in the afternoon. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure that if this sort of short term downturn would, would continue now for a few days, we would hear uh, the central banks, we would hear the governments talk about new big stimulus packages uh, just to calm the market down. And I think that is, uh, that is how it's have to continue. Because if they, if they would loosen that, or if they would tighten that financial, uh, that, that sort of strategy, that politics now, I think the market would panic and no one want that. So from my perspective, this is something that has to continue. And because of that, I think we're gonna have a, a great bull run in stocks in the coming years. And I think we're gonna have a great boom in the, in the market uh, in Marbella, but also in the Costa del Sol, but I think it's gonna take a bit longer for the rest of the coast to, to go there. Uh, because it's just crazy amounts of money out there. And the money is flowing in, in the direction of those that have assets, they have stocks, uh, and they have these kind of assets that, that are benefiting from this politics.